So look, y'all, I know y'all been waiting for this giveaway, man, and the time is finally here. The reason it took me so long is because I was really trying to figure out, like, what should I give away? When should I do it? You know what I'm saying? Like, it was a lot of things that went into it, but it's finally here, dog. This is how you can win a $50 gift card to Dick's Sporting Goods. I know a lot of y'all is getting back into y'all season and everything like that. And football equipment, you know, the little accessories and everything like that can be expensive. So I will be giving away a $50 Dick Sporting Goods gift card, dog. And for those of you who have your seasons canceled, it's very unfortunate. But you can still use this gift card to go to the store and prepare for when your season does come back. Or just to have football gear just in general, dog. How you will be able to win this giveaway is first, you got to be subscribed to the channel, obviously. You got to be subscribed and have your post notification bell on. You have to follow me on Instagram, man. If you're not following me on Instagram, you will not be able to win the giveaway, man. And don't do one of them things where you follow me and then unfollow me after or something like that, bro. You got to be following me on Instagram. Once you do both of those things or if you already done both of those things, I need you to type done certified game down below done certified game down below and this wednesday i will be going live on the channel and picking the giveaway winner live dog so so it's really simple dog all you got to do is be subscribed with your post notifications bell on follow me on instagram and comment done certified game down below and literally that's it man wednesday we'll pick the giveaway winner what's good certified game it's your boy keiko and i'm back with another video man if this is your first time ever watching more than football we do a lot of things over here so hit that subscribe button one of the things that we do over here is, is react to your guys' film, give you pointers and tips, and let you know if you're good enough to play at the next level. And if you already have offers, we see if you're certified. We see if we can add you to the collection of certified gang members. Now, today's player man has a tragic story um, that he went through and he prevailed and he still became a four-star recruit with offers to crazy schools. You know what I'm saying? One thing that I like to preach over here at More Than Football, man, is that, you know, your circumstances, you can't, you know, always control what circumstances you're dealt with. The best thing that you can do is take those circumstances and then make the best out of them. You know what I'm saying? Just because little bumps happen in the road, it doesn't mean you can't get to that end goal, man. And today's player is an example of that. And, I, and that's why I love doing these highlight reactions to these players that y'all don't know about because there's so many stories, there's so many things that happen that y'all just don't know about. So with that being said, let's meet today's player, man. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Follow me on IG and let's get straight to it. Today's player is Tariq al Ukda. I'm, I'm trying to pronounce, I'm not trying to be funny, bro. I really am not. I'm trying to pronounce your name right. Tariq al Ukda. Now let me know if I got it right. If I didn't, uh, I don't know. Tariq is from Harbor City, California, man. Narbonne High School. In the class of 2022, he's a six foot, 202 pound inside linebacker, bro. It don't make sense, man. He only a sophomore. He's about to be a junior now. And he already bigger than me, bro. I'm a grown man. I'm 22. And he already bigger than me. It's not fair. 247 has Tariq as a four star overall recruit, man. The number 26 best recruit in the state of California. The 11th best inside linebacker in the class of 2022, man. So I know a lot of people always say this, man. They always say, you know, value your life and you just never know when, you know, your last moment could be. But Tariq almost, you know, met that moment, man. November 20th, 2017, man. Tariq was in a bad car accident where it caused the car to flip over and he completely messed up his hand to where he had to be rushed to the ER for surgery. He had completely severed two arteries in his index finger. And a lot of y'all may be like, bro, he just tore arteries in his index finger, bro. What's the big deal? Bro, those arteries are very, very important. You can bleed out and die, man. He had to be rushed to the ER and get surgery, man. He severed the arteries that kind of allow your fingers to flex and have motion and everything like that. So basically, they had to cut his finger down the, the middle and basically web two of his fingers together to be able to save his index finger. I'm going to show you all the picture, but, you know, it's not nothing too bad, but literally his fingers are webbed together so he could save that index finger, man. He's been playing ball like this for three years now. Three years with a web finger. First and foremost, I just want to say, Tariq, I'm glad that, you know, you're here with us today. And that wasn't your last moment, dog. Because obviously, you have a lot of potential to do a lot of big things, man. So I just really, really am glad that you're here with us today. And that's come from the heart. Man, you can still do this, man. He's a four-star recruit now 
with four D1 offers. USC, bro. That's a big offer right there, dog. With that being said, man, let's see what his film is like, dog. I want to see what he's out there on the field doing. God bless you, Tariq, man. God bless all of y'all. Let's get right to it. All right, man. Let's see what you're talking about, Tariq. Sophomore season. All right, Narbon. Uh, he he showed me this picture where his school had gold helmets. That was the hardest thing I seen in high school. Ooh, way to come up on that tackle. Twelve. Okay, twelve. Okay, twelve. Yes, sir. That was a good play right there. Way to come. Way to come up. A lot of things that I look at inside linebackers, their their get off, how well they read. Way to get down there. Way to read that. You know, one thing, like, it's the same with safeties and um, linebackers, bro. Once you read that as a run, I want to see y'all really come downfield and really bring that boom. Some, some linebackers be hesitant. That was a good play right there, too. All right. Where you at on this one? Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, way to get back there, man. What I'm seeing so far is that his get off. It's pretty good, pretty good. His read um, is pretty good, and he recognizes when it's a run. Is his pass? Oh, he came straight up the field. Oh, yes, sir. Stop playing with Tariq. Look how he reads this quarterback. I mean, this quarterback, I don't know if this was just supposed to be straight up like that or it was supposed to be a draw, but he just straight up went up the field. But Tariq came in. Oh, sit down. Sit down, number two. I like that. I like how hype you get, bro. I love players with energy. Y'all know I got that energy. I love players with energy. All right, man. See what you do right here. Like I said, man, way to get in that backfield, boy. 60, whatever number that is, 69 couldn't even guard you, bro. Guard you. I'm talking about guard you, block you. Dang, y'all got chrome helmets too? Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Way to get back there. Yes, sir. Uh-oh, run it back. Where your teammate, oh, yeah. Is that you on a pancake too? Buddy got cracked. Let's see if that's you on a pancake too. I think it's you. Okay, hold up. I got to rewind it back to the point where you, okay. That's you right there. I don't know if that's you coming up on that block though. Oh yeah, it is the block. He said the block also. They better not gave you a flag for that. Oh, uh -huh. buddy had to run it back. Good job, bro. Wait, that's some good energy right there. Them chrome helmets is nasty. Good tackle. Good tackle, 12. I don't know. I like the number 12 for some reason. Yeah, he's got a good recognition of when it's a run, and he gets up field pretty quick. Y'all had green helmet? Hold up, bro. Y'all team, like, what, co what colors was y'all team, dog? Wait, y'all not the green team. Y'all got to be the, the, maybe, I don't know. No, nah, he is the green team. That was him on the tackle. Yo, y'all school had hella jerseys. Y'all said, hey, look, today we're going to be a different color. We're going to be green, blue. Uh. Oh, this is you right here, actually. All right. Oh, you got the fumble. Hold up. Hold up. He just take the ball from him. Okay, then, Tariq. Yeah, this is the gold helmets I was talking about. That is tough. Narbonne High School. I've heard of Harbor City, California before. Oh, yeah, 14. Getting, oh, come on, 14. What was that? 14. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to hurt your feelings, 14, but what was that? All right, let's see how you... Yup. Yup, he don't even get blindsided. Oh, wait a hit button. Sheesh. You can't hit me like that. Don't hit me like that because I, I, I'll... I don't know what I'll do, but don't hit me like that. Yeah, good, bro. His run recognition is really, really good. I haven't really seen him in pass coverage too much but his run recognition is something crazy you know what i'm saying and obviously like his fingers you know i don't even want to really bring that up like that but it doesn't affect them you know what i'm saying we have people in the league now um i i can't think of his name right now but y'all know who i'm talking about the the player on the seahawks with one hand pri uh i'm not even gonna try to guess his name right now good pick that's a pick bro your school has so many jersey combinations. One, I don't know if this is two different schools or what I'm watching right now. But, bro, you, I've just seen you in a green chrome, uh, a silver, uh, a gold helmet, and now this green and yellow school. And now we're all white. Your school had hella jerseys, bro. <laughs> yeah, there. 
who is this other team? They black and yellow. Uh, Pittsburgh Steer. Oh! Hit him with that. Don't stop playing with Tariq. I don't know why that just made me so hyped, but it did. Y'all see my hand right now? Don't play with Tariq. Don't play with him. Sheesh. You wouldn't crack me like that, though. You know what I'm saying? We can set it up. You wouldn't crack me like that. You know? Oh! Uh, crack, buddy. I know that hurt. And he was talking to him. I know you was talking in his ear. Alright. Oh, it is pretty be bad. Murder! That's a murder! He could have even cracked him even harder. I'm not going to lie to you. Way to fight through both of them blocks. Hey, that boy holding you. That boy holding you, and you still made the tackle, bro. That boy holding you still made the tackle. Come on, bro. Tariq a dog out here. Now y'all got the yellow on white. I don't even know if I've seen this one. Y'all got, bro. <laughs> y'all had hella jersey combos. Crack? Oh, yeah, good tackle. He definitely is certified. I, I can't wait to see what other offers he start getting. Way to spin off of that. Way to get there. I like the gold so far just because I, I love chrome helmets. But low key, the green um, chrome helmets that I've seen, those was hard too. Because that's like a color you don't really come by like that. Good cover. Number 12, dog. Yeah, bro. Like, he's not easy to block. As you can see, these linemen are having trouble blocking him. And once he recognizes the run, Way to be on that, bro. Way to cause a pick, bro. See, that is a great play. I know he has a lot of good plays on here, but I, I love this play right here. Way to be on that. Like, look how he's just kind of chilling. He recognizes Buddy's trying to get inside. Now, 14 didn't really run that good, great of a route. But way to be on that, dog. Come on, bro. You know what I'm saying? See, bro, like his recognition, he's that back in the backfield just like that, bro. No cap. Good tackle. That team looked like North Carolina. You feel it's funny how like high school teams, like sometimes they logos be the same exact as uh Ooh Seth Buddy on his butt. Yeah, man, stop playing with it. Tariq, like I said, dog, I'm happy that you're still here with us, man. That comes from the bottom of my heart, like for real, no cap. Tariq is obviously certified. Y'all see him out here on the field, man. And like I said, I hope his story just inspires y'all that y'all can do anything, man. No matter the odds, no matter the circumstances and everything like that, man. And just value life, man, because just certain things can happen and you just never know when your last moments are. So just value your life. Get the most out of your day and just strive for your dreams, man. And it, I, I don't know, man. I don't want to get sentimental on y'all. But it's just me really talking to y'all, man. Tariq, keep working. Keep your head up. And I appreciate you for being patient with me and getting your video done and supporting me and all that, dog. We might have to link. You out here in California, um, you was telling me about this little spot where they be doing one-on-ones. So I may be down there, but we might have to link one day, man. Can, keep me updated on any new offers you get, anything like that. But I'm ready to see what your career turns out to be, man. Stay up. I'm going to pray for you. I want you to stay healthy. I'm going to pray for all y'all. This is the end of the video. It's more than football, dog.